Hey guys, it's Chris from Highland Guitars and you're watching episode, I think it's 126 from the Luthiers Workbench. And in this episode, I'm going to let you follow along as I put this two color burst onto this guitar, as well as apply the grain filler on the back. And um, the product I use for this grain filler is really cool it's a brand new product it's not even out on the market yet and it's absolutely amazing uh, it, it's really not intended to be a grain filler it's meant to be a clear top coat which it works really really well for but I thought I wonder if it would make a good grain filler and it almost does so um, let's get to work as always the first step in applying the finish is to make sure that the surface of the wood has been sanded to perfection. And I typically start with somewhere around 80 to 100 grit and then I'll work my way up to uh, probably no finer than uh, 220 grit before I start to apply the finish. And I, I'll use uh, sandpaper as well as uh, Merca Abronet uh, pads. Those things are awesome. Since I only want the two color burst on the flame maple top and not on the mahogany back and sides, I had to mask off the mahogany with uh, some frog tape. The first color I'm going to use in my two color burst is going to be a blue color and I'm using Crystal Lax Craftnik pigment to uh, achieve that color. And what I'm doing is I'm applying roughly about a half a teaspoon of the pigment into about an ounce to two ounces of Crystal Lax Bright Tone instrument finish. And I'll mix that up and then test it on some maple in order to, to gauge uh, the concentration of the color. And based on how it, it looks to me, I can either add a little bit more of the pigment or I can, of course, knock it back by adding a little bit more of the bright tone. Once I was satisfied with the hue of blue that I had mixed, I was ready to apply it to the top of the guitar body. And I'm going to apply it to the entire top of the flamed maple. And the reason for that is because I want that blue to soak into the open figure that's present in the maple. And then once it's dry, I'll sand off just the center section and then apply the second green color that I'll be mixing up here in a minute. As I apply that blue color, you can see how it soaks into the open figure and darkens it a bit. Once the blue dye had dried, I sanded off the color just from the center part of the body using my random orbital sander and a 400 grit Merca Abronet disc. Now the second color I'm going to use is mixed up basically the same as the first color. It's about an ounce or so of the Crystal Lac Bright Tone instrument finish and then I'm using a, a few drops of the uh, yellow Craftnik pigment and then a few drops of the green uh, Craftnik pigment and I'll mix those up and test them on scrap to see if I'm getting the color uh, the way I want it. But my plan will be once I've got this color mixed up, um, rather than wiping it on like I did the blue, I'm going to spray this on and then let it dry. I wasn't sure exactly how many coats I was going to need in order to get the kind of coverage I want. So I sprayed the first coat down fairly lightly and then I'll let that dry for about oh, two hours or so. And I'll come back and check and decide whether or not I want to apply a second coat or if it's good to go and I can start uh, spraying the, the blue burst around the edges. To apply the blue burst, I'm using a mini spray gun. And this one in particular is an LVLP gun, which means low volume, low pressure. And it has a 0.8 millimeter needle, which is really, really small, so I get a very fine pattern. And it takes a little bit of adjustment to get it to spray the way I want it to. But once I've got that adjusted, I can spray down a nice smooth burst. Now 
After I finished spraying the burst, I let the top dry for a couple of hours so that I could safely handle it. For the back and sides of this guitar, I'm going to be using a new product from Solar Res called I Can't Believe It's Not Lacquer. You've heard of Solar Res before. I've, I've reviewed their products in the past. In fact, I did a video where I talked about using their uh, UV cured gloss polyester resin. However, this product is not a polyester resin. One of the problems with that original product was it's extremely challenging to level sand uh, polyester clear coats after they've been applied and cured. They're so hard that it's just it's really difficult to get it level. Well this product is not a uh, polyester and I'm not a chemist so I really can't comment about the uh, the chemistry of it but um, it is UV curable just like that polyester resin was. You just apply it like you see me doing here and then I'll take it out into the sun for about one to two minutes and it will cure dry. Pretty amazing. What's really nice about this product is it's non-flammable. It has almost no uh, detectable odor and it is a zero VOC product. And if you're wondering what that means, Google's uh, VOC paints and you'll get an idea of what that is, but it has to do with being environmentally friendly. And um, like I said, it doesn't have hardly any odor to it, so you can apply it pretty much in your kitchen if you wanted to, and it's not going to uh, bother you, uh, which is uh, a far cry from what uh, polyester, those, uh, that product really had a potent odor to it, but this one doesn't. And the other nice thing about it is, is it has a very durable finish once it's cured, but it's not as hard as polyester. It's more like lacquer, which is why they call it. I can't believe it's not lacquer. So once it's cured, it will level sand very, very easily, and then it buffs up to a super nice shine. Well, I had happened to notice in doing some tests with this product that when I applied it to raw mahogany, it really looked nice. So I thought, why not just put it straight onto the back of this guitar body? And that's what I'm doing here, is I'm just applying it with a sponge, and then I'll uh, wipe it down with a clean cloth to get it really smooth, and then I'll cure it. And at that point, it should be um, uh, nice and smooth, and, it, it, and I'm hoping that it will do a good job of uh, filling in the grain and the pores. And then I'll be able to um, spray my um, final uh, Crystal Lac Bright Tone instrument uh, clear coat finish over the top of it when it's done, but I, I'm just really pleased with the color that the mahogany uh, takes on once this product has been applied. So I'll be talking more about this. Uh, I can't believe it's not lacquer in a future episode where I plan to use it as the top coat on one of my future guitar projects. But for now, um, it's a pretty cool product, and I highly recommend you check it out. I can't believe it's not lacquer. will stay wet until it's exposed to UV light like sunlight. So I'll take it out in the sun and I'll let it sit for um, at least a minute but closer to two or three minutes. And I'll turn the body every so often so I get um, equal exposure on all the surfaces that were coated. And then once it's cured I can um, do a very light sanding of the surface and if necessary apply a second or even a third coat. Now one thing you'll notice uh, with this product from Solar Res is unlike the polyester product, this stuff level sands really nicely. I'm using 400 grit sandpaper here and it's powering up better than, <laughs> better than even real lacquer does. So once I've finished uh, leveling this, uh, this coat out, I'll apply a second one and then cure it in the sun just like I did before. Then I'll take a look at it and see if the pores and, and grain is filled and if it is, then I'm done. If not, I'll just apply a uh, third coat and that really should be it. Well, that's about all the time I have for this episode. And in the next episode, I'm going to put down a Crystallac Bright Tone clear coat over this entire guitar. And um, what's going to be cool about that is, is it's their new matte flat finish. And whenever I use matte flat finishes, I always try 
to spray it down so I have nothing else to do once it's done. So um, stick around for that one and I hope you have a great week, great week ahead. Um, you know, as always, click the like button, leave comments, subscribe to the channel, you know the drill, and we will see you soon. Thank you.